Hey everyone, welcome back to Winterfell Camp, me lad from the woods if you don't know me, and of course everybody else knows me. Uh, anyway, well there's some good news today. Bus is sold. Um, money's coming tomorrow. Uh, the lad is actually a neighbor not too far from here. Really good lad. He's a diesel mechanic with his own garage. Very, very experienced, so he's the absolute perfect guy to buy it. He'll be able to put the bus together and uh, um, make it work. He's actually fixing it up for his parents and who have never camped or RV'd before. So they're just retired. So um, he's doing that for his parents. So that's a fuck, you know, that's a cool thing, right? Son doing that for his parents. Anyways, uh, he's a good lad. Another set of lads showed up here that I didn't think was gonna show up from Quebec. Of course, they have to be really cool people. And he was willing to buy it right on the spot. He said I'd even bit, try to outbid him. I said, no. I said, listen, I'm not gonna sit and try and make profit out of folks like you. The one the lad from Montreal, he, he lives in a van year round and uh, he travels all over the place too. Uh, and he's, you know, not my age, but he's close. So he's an older fella like me. And he's Quebecois, which of course I love Quebec and Quebecers. And um, uh, so I was like, oh, I wish I had two of them because I sell one to you and sell one to Brett because Brett's such a cool thing. Then, of course, there was Luke in Toronto, and I feel bad because I really wanted him to have it for his little girls and his wife and, you know, him, obviously. But, uh, no, it sold, and I'm glad it went to Brett. Um, if Brett would, were to change his mind, the guys in Montreal that call, told me to call them right away, they'll come right back. They want the bus. So it's gone. Um... I'm relieved. I'm not mad. I'm not freaking out. Um, I didn't get what I want. I lost a pile of money, but I'm relieved. I got a pile of money in my pocket. I won't need to, t well, pile. I got $5,000 when I got for it. Um, um, means I'll have a nice bank account with money. So when I'm going down to Sabo Beach, I won't have to worry about money or gas or any of that nonsense. And, uh, the bus is going to someone good that you know he'll uh, he'll make things happen with it. So it's good for everybody. And uh, like I say, I wish I had three of them and I could have helped Luke get that one down to him. But you know, I, I don't I don't know what to do. But Brett is a guy that knows what to do. So I'm not worried about him at all. And these guys from Quebec, same deal. The one his the the guys that want wants it his friend is a mechanic so he was going to rebuild the motor on his own which is something you know a lot of like they're not well those two aren't necessarily bush lads like brett is like he's from out here but i mean they're kind of like that and so i mean lots of people know how to work on their own things so especially if you're going on these schoolies and off grid and boondocking you need to work need to know how to work on your own things so, or do like I do, you know some things, but then you also carry an ATV. So if you get in trouble, you can ride the ATV out of your trouble. So there, there we go. It's gone. And like I say, there's a tinge of like, okay, Jesus, I wish I hadn't, you know, lost all that money, but I'm more relieved than anything else. You know, I got firewood that I, I haven't done, you know, uh, that needs to be getting done. Uh, you know, there's just a thousand other little things around here. So like I say, you take a little hit, you fall back, you know, and then you work towards the next thing. So, you know, it's not forever. I'm going to be staying here, meaning, um, uh, you know at this property so you know there's a time coming sooner than later I'm gonna sell and then I'll buy a, like a regular old-school RV and you know I'll do my uh, tripping and uh, and so forth so I'm okay with it um, yeah like I said it's a headache gone so that's all I had to say not a heck of a lot more than that um, tomorrow she leaves I have the cash I got to pick up a couple things for the boat. Uh, I'm going to get a, uh, I need to replace my downrigger that, uh, that finally broke and just a couple other little things. And, uh, I'm ready to go camping. Everything's done. I got everything. I just need to pile everything into the tent from the shed, make sure everything's organized. I got everything. True is finishing the boat. It comes back tomorrow. The Grizzly will be later on this week. So that's all done. And, uh, so then I just got to prep the place for me being away. So, and uh, that 
money too and make sure that I have extra money in my pocket so when I leave the campground after nine days I'll come back here for a couple of days take care of shit and then do the next nine days down there and that'll take me into the into the, uh, the closing of the campground and the later in August the salmon Chinook starts Chinook uh, sorry uh, uh, not coho it's chin, uh, not chin, um, salmon up on uh, in Tobamori rainbow trout uh, Lakers uh, that's in uh, tub, uh, you know, Tobomori uh, Harbor and whitefish. So those are my fish. Um, seems like everybody's like, oh, it sucks up there. It's only trout. And I'm like, fuck, man. I can catch walleye and smallmouth bass all day long here, 20 times bigger than what they catch there. But, uh, I mean, it's the species are running, you know, almost extinct up there. But there's lots of trout so and salmon. So that's what I'm there for. And the later in the August, the better the fishing is. So um, the weather did break. It's a little hot and humid today, like humidity. But it's going really cool tonight. And for the next two or three weeks no heat waves coming in so you've got a very happy lad from the woods right this moment okay so I'm gonna say goodbye I'm gonna upload this right away and uh, I'll do some more uh, filming tomorrow and uh, yeah let's get this August going because this is now becoming my favorite time of year you know August is the kind of the changeover month and then September arrives Woo my time of year then there's harvest in October, and then November is hunting season, and then the cold and the snow, and then first ice, hopefully, if it's a cold winter, we'll be fishing in mid-December, if not at the end of December. So then it's January, February, March, all my time of year. So anyway, okay, everyone, so there, you see I'm really happy. So like I say, I took a, I took a, I took a kick in the balls on the bus. But it's a kick in the balls that will get me further down the road uh, in a better better thing. So, okay. So, please like, share, and subscribe. If you guys want to donate food for the cats or any of all that stuff there, there's links, lists for the Amazon. Uh, there's paypal.com slash slide from the woods. Um, liking and sharing and subscribing are like some of the best things. Um, yeah. So, oh, one quick little note. I will be streaming live from the campground so I'll let you know the dates I'm going to do that but I won't do that until I'm there so I can make sure everything's solid and then I'll pick a day or two or whatever we're going to do okay see you later everyone thanks for coming thanks for listening to me thanks for my listening to my droning on I know I can yak quite a bit and maybe that's not your typical channel but I, I am what I am and uh well I mean I'm a, I'm a trailer park boy in my own way so that's the way she is. <laughs> okay? Talk to you later. Bye-bye.